Hello everyone, this is Indra, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Nutrition and Dietetics at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangur. Today we are going to learn about a, a subject, Advanced Dietetics, in that the first unit covered about diet therapy. First of all, we have to know what is meant by dietetics. It is a specialized field dealing with clinical and therapeutic nutrition and is concerned with the diet and its effects on health especially with practical application of a scientific understanding of nutrition. Then why dietetics? The need for a healthy lifestyle, wellness, fitness, nutrition therapy, diet counseling etc. is increasing in the community. So nutrition guidance and diet counseling are important aspects of good health. This information imparted to the patients or public should be evident based and are done by a qualified expert. So dietetics is an important profession with growing career opportunities. Then we have to know what is mean what is meant by therapeutic diet. A therapeutic diet is a meal plan that controls the intake of certain food or nutrition. It is the part of a medical condition and are normally prescribed by physician and planned by a dietitian. Principles of therapeutic diet. A well-planned diet providing all the specified nutrients to the body helps to achieve the nutritional hemostatus in a normal healthy individual. However, in disease condition, the body tissue either do not receive proper nutrients in sufficient amount or cannot utilize the available nutrients due to faulty digestion, absorption and transportation of food elements, thus affecting the nutritional hemostatic of a sick person. So, the diet needs to be suitably modified. It is important that the basic for planning such modified diet should be a normal diet. Here are the list of modification in therapeutic diets in the method of preparation. First one is consistency like uh, soft, fl uh, full fluid, clear or mashed. Then total calories, high calorie uh, uh, in which 100 nutrition patient required high calorie and uh, obese person require low calorie like that. The uh, diet should be modified. These are the examples. Then classification of therapeutic diet that uh, nutrients. These are the examples of clear liquid and full fluid diet. And full fluid diet, this for foods that are liquid at room temperature, it provides more calories compared to clear liquid diet. It is used for post-operative patient like that, uh, like a clear liquid diet, it is used also for GI tract illness. This diet bridges the gap between the clear liquid and soft diet. This diet includes in post-operative stages acute gastritis, infection, diarrhea. When the patient does not require a special diet but are unable to chew solid or semi-solid food. So recommended food uh, items like soups and broth, cereal porridges, milk and beverage, uh, yogurt, coffee, tea, like examples. These are the examples of full fluid diet. This fluid uh, feeds give uh, uh, 2 to 4 hours intervals and it provides 1200 kilocalories and 35 gram of protein. Then pure diet. It refers to all foods blended, uh, blended in a blender like a mix, uh, mixing. It is called blenderized diet. It it, it includes regular foods blended and strained in a liquid form and foods allowed in clear or uh, uh, fluid, full fluid diets. Next, soft diet. Many people including infant need soft diet because they have no teeth. Like uh, infant, the old age people also need this soft diet. Um, this diet sometimes uh, described as mechanically soft diet and it provides 1500 kilocalories, to, uh, kilocalories and 35 to 45 gram of protein. Next, fiber restricted diet. Fiber restricted, soft fiber restricted diet, uh, in, uh, indigestible carbohydrates excluded in this diet. So, um, the patients who are suffered from uh, are, are fiber restricted is advised to have this type of diet. The amount of indigestible carbohydrates in diet can be reduced by using refined cereals and uh, breads, immature vegetables, fruits without skin and uh, seeds, cooked. Then low fat or low cholesterol diet. It is used to reduce fat levels or treat medical condition that interfere with how the body uses fat, fat such as uh, disease of liver, gallbladder of pancreas. 50 gram of fat is uh, used in this uh, diet and 30% uh, derived from this, 30% uh, of calories is derived from this diet. It, it's it is low in total fat and saturated fat and contains approximately 250 to 300 milligram of cholesterol. Then low sodium diet. May it, uh, low sodium means only 2 gram of uh, sodium per day is advised and it is mostly advised for uh, um, cardiac patients and kidney diseased patients. Limit salt and starchy foods such as uh, sausage, cured meats, canned soup. 
pickled food, uh, salted crackers, etc. It is used for people who may be holding water like edema or having high blood pressure, heart disease, liver disease or first stage of kidney.